My name is Annie Ennis and I'm at the Cycle Show 2008 Earlsport. Managed to catch up with Will Clark. Um, Britain's, I'm going to say, leading, leading triathlete at the moment. Up, up there, I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a funny thing, it's a funny way to, you know, I mean, I, I'm Nash champion, Tim's, um, Tim's won lots of World Cups, Alistair's won lots of World Cups, so I don't know. It's, it's, you know, yeah, I guess I'm Nash champion. <laughs> National Champion 2008, which is a great race. We saw you racing in Rimbad Park just a couple of weeks out before you weren't able to make it into race when you finished 14th. Yeah. Um, perhaps not a result that you, you kind of hoped for. Um, I know that you've spoken before you take more for the top five. Yeah. Um, so what happened there? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was, I was, in, I was in fantastic shape, obviously, when I won the National Champions, and I was really happy with that and went away on a big high. And it only, it only really got better when I was away in Korea and preparing, but. Um, yeah, the swim didn't go to plan in, in Beijing, and I ended up chasing for a good three laps, which really, and I, I just couldn't come back from that, and I couldn't recover, because, because it's so hot, mainly. And what do you think happened in the swim? Um, kind of, just, my goal was really clouded up, it's a really bad excuse, and I don't want to tell anyone about that, but my goal was clouded up, and I couldn't, couldn't really see, see where I was, and whose feet I was on and stuff, and next thing you know, I guess I just wasn't really swimming as good as I, as good as I was just focusing a lot on my running. I, I got quite lean for the race as well, so yeah, it didn't really help. And friend of the BBC blog that you said, that was a really blog for the BBC or, or certainly the <coughs> Korea Olympics, and you said that you, you went out to Korea and, and you thought you'd be sort of taking training slightly more easily than you do back at home, but you actually trained very hard. Do you think that perhaps it was a mistake? Um, you went into the race a little over I don't think so. I mean, I think all year I had really perfect preparation, and I felt, you know, the, the, day, the day before the race I was doing, I was doing sprints with, with, my, with my coach, and I was, you know, I was running as fast as I ever had before. I think just felt felt, felt fantastic, I mean, light, light on my feet, but, and I felt like I was really coming to ground, but didn't, didn't get a chance to show that because after the swim it was it was game over, and Dan, my coach, told me after the race that as soon as I came out of the water. With that 30 second gap, and he said, Oh, that's it, He's, it's, it's over. If it was in Wales, I might have come back from that and, 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 and been fine because the cold weather, but because the hit the heat just really took it out of me. And even on the last lap of the bike, I was breathing really a lot harder than normal, and I just thought, Oh dear, I'm in trouble now. Do, do you think it's like that, you know, I've kind of spoken to a few, quite a few athletes, and suddenly you spoke to Sam Warren, who was another person a bit like yourself, who was well up there and yeah. considered, you know, a possible medal contender. Um, yeah. She kind of also had a similar race to you, I think, quite disappointed in fact she was mm -hmm. further down. And do you think the kind of added pressure of the Olympics does just make it that much harder for people? I mean, the conditions are hard in Beijing, there's no doubt about it, but do you think the pressure at all kind of plays a part in, in some of the results that we've seen? In the sure. For, for a lot of people, um, I really don't think it, 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 it did for me though. I just, I just simply messed up on the swim. You know, I, I hit that. I, I tried to hit. I got close to the front on the run. And, you know, just tried to run as hard as hard as I could, but I wasn't feeling that the same, the same will as I was in the Greenback Park for, for the national. So, but your first Olympics in 14th place. So, I mean. It certainly wasn't a disaster, but not perhaps something happened, and it's obviously given you great experience for 2012. Yeah, I mean, some of the sessions that I was doing before the race, I, I would definitely be been hoping for a top five, and it left a big hole, really, um, a big hole, hole after, after that race. It took me a while well to a lot of thinking about it, a lot of persuading myself that, you know, just get over and move on. But yeah, I mean, more of the same, and learn from my mistakes. There's a lot of mistakes to learn from, you know, you just can't be. You've got to be absolutely bulletproof for this world like that. So, yeah, none of them, hopefully, you know, four years on as well, four years on, but hopefully it'll be a lot better. And, and the Olympics in itself, the race aside, your race aside, how, how was the experience of going to the gym and did you get a chance to go and see other events taking place? Yeah, it was fantastic. I mean, it was, it was incredible organisation and, and the stadiums were amazing. The swimming pool and the athletic stadium was incredible. And, we got to catch a bus right from outside the village and it goes to the stadium, avoiding all traffic, underneath the stadium and you pop out there and go and sit wherever you want the stadium, like whenever you want. So, so that was fantastic. It was just really easy to, to go and see any of the other events with the accreditation. So we had a really good time and yeah, I mean, I was a bit gutted and there were a lot of people with a lot of medalists out partying and stuff, and but it wasn't really in my heart after the race, but I still had a great time and watched a lot of the events and it was good. 
So you, after, after the race, you, you've taken a break since then. And you, well, you, went, you went to Strathclyde, you know, that which was the final um, chorus race. Mm -hmm. And whipped everybody's butts there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it was nice to. It, that wasn't my last race, but it was. It was coming towards it, and it was nice to. That was a nice weekend actually, because I went. I raced on Saturday in France, for my French club, and then on Sunday, and then on Saturday night we flew to race on Sunday in Strath Strath Glide. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good fun. Nice to. Nice to race some some people who aren't necessarily the biggest names and get a nice win. Yeah, yeah. it was over the sprint distance, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like a super sprint. It was um, two. It was a heat in the final, so it was really short, and I didn't really get a chance to blow up because it's too short. Yeah, fair enough. And um, since then, you, you said you had a couple of weeks off and just yeah. been enjoying yourself. And yeah, having I said I'd take five weeks, so I'd start back when I come back from my holiday in Thailand, and um, yeah, just seeing my friends catching up, going to some parties for two weeks, and doing stuff that I'm not allowed to do, eating kebabs, whatever. And then, um, yeah, and then as soon as I come back from Thailand, it's, it's hit it. But I've been doing bits and pieces, and I actually, I'm still quite fit. I've been going out with my athletics club, which is, just just because I enjoy it. Doing a few 10Ks with them, and tempo runs and swims, and yeah, it's been really good. And what plans have you got for 2009? Um, there's a new Super World Cup series, so I'm, I'm looking to do that and get involved with that and try and because there's no there's no real mass event this year apart from the World Champs, which is now. A World Cup fin finale. There's no way yeah. that you need to be really in tip-top shape for. So I just want to be steadily good throughout the whole year and do some good World Cup races and just see, see what I can do for my national, for my world record. What do you think of this new World Championship format? And a bit that's been, I guess, compared to to the F1 series almost. Yeah, kind of. I don't think it's going to be as big as that. But they've got a, they've got a nice big sponsor and a lot of information. Well, most of the information still has come out. But, uh, we, we don't actually know anything yet. Apart from there's going to be six, work, six races in Service 16, and they're all going to be in big cities like Chicago and London and Gold Coast and all, all the big cities. So it's going to be it's going to be a different style of racing. There's going to be less people, more prize money. It's, it's going to be good. I mean, yeah, look forward to it. Much higher exposure as well. So yeah. I think there'll be big races. So it's exciting times for triathlon. And it's amazing how the good time does go, and we really just last Olympics, but we kind of know it's going to be here a long time at all. Yeah, hopefully. So that's that the main issue, kind of main goal with Dan Sarsini, the coach, and that's, that's yeah. what we've discussed, is it? Yeah, we, yeah we, we, we haven't got any Commonwealth Games even, so the next four years is just just what I've been talking to you about. That's just like this year, work, work, the Super World Cup Series, mm -hmm. trying to get close to, you know, being the world, the world Championship leader, as it is now. So yeah, just so it goes and I'm looking to go to maybe do a few half Ironman races for fun and see how that goes and keep racing for my French club. And it's Hawaii tomorrow and that, have you been following any other stuff for the previous news? <coughs> and... Not really, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 look, I'm looking forward to seeing, to seeing Bella, like, Bella. Um, Chrissy and Bella, because she'll be there. Chrissy and Bella, um, you know, Try and, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Chrissy try and retain her title, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I, I'm not too clear about, about the guys, but yeah. Probably because of the format, that's your yeah. favourite last year's winner. So um, anyway, enjoy um, a very nice and well-deserved break. Yeah, nice thanks, yeah. Have a great holiday in Thailand. No